I think there's very few farming systems can actually build soil health the way that mob grazing does. So the idea is not just to feed this, the cows, but also to feed the soil in the process. And what we found is by grazing our cattle in this way, we're actually building far more soil fertility and making the farm far more resilient to both dry times and wet times because the soil has far more organic matter in it and the grasses have far deep, deeper roots. And because of that, they're able to access far more minerals and moisture when, when we need it. Do you want to find some dung beetles? Yeah. That's a reason to try not to warm your cattle too much, is it has a bad effect on these little critters who do an important job. Nice. <laughs> and we always make sure you do that before lunch. <laughs> yeah. I think the wildlife numbers have exploded on the farm since we went to this uh, tall grass grazing. There's far more, I think th there's far more bird life that a lot of it actually follows the herd as we move around the farm in terms of the starlings and the swallows. And in the winter time, we also have um, kestrels follow the cows and eat the short-tailed voles. So there's an abundance of short-tailed voles. And I think it's also good for the waders. I think we're seeing more curlews up in the some of the um, higher ground where there's far taller grass left through the nesting season. So for that, that reason alone, I think it's, it has huge, a lot to offer.